This is our brand new glucose meter and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. All right, first of all, let me open up the box. This model is the non-Bluetooth version. So inside the box, you're gonna find a user manual, a diabetes care logbook, and a quick start guide. If you're not using this video, Quick Start Guide is a great place to start. Inside the travel pouch, we've got test strips, we've got a lancing device, we've got the meter itself, we've got lancets for the lancing device, two AAA batteries, and three bottles of control solution so you can test that your meter is giving you the correct readings. Each one has a different amount of glucose in it so you can test that your machine is accurate. First of all, let's insert the batteries. Simply prise open the battery compartment. Take the plastic film off the batteries. And insert them making sure they're the correct way around. There is also a screen protector. You can peel that off. Once you've inserted the batteries, you'll get the option to change the date and the time. Just use these buttons on the side to adjust the date and the time, with the up side being up and the down arrow being down and then hit the middle button to confirm. You'll then get the option to set alarms if you'd like to. You can either switch one on or off. Once you've done this, your meter is ready to go and you can begin glucose testing. To take a blood sample, you're gonna need your lancing device and a lancet. This lancing device has nine different levels. This is the depth of how far the, the needle is gonna go into your finger. Um, so I'll suggest to start off with a light level, and if it doesn't draw enough blood, then go to a higher level. I've used this before, so I'm gonna start on seven. Simply untwist this cap, and that will expose the needle. Once you have the needle exposed, you can put it to a side and then on the actual lancing device, you twist, unscrew, and that exposes where your lancet goes. You then take your lancet and place it into the slot. And then you can replace the cap. To load the lancet, pull this back until you hear a click and then your lancet's ready to go and you'll know that because there'll be a red symbol. If I press that, you can hear it fire. Let me reload and fire. So now I just need to make sure there's enough blood on my finger before I try to get a blood sample. Um, the way I like to do this is I get a stress ball and that usually gets a lot of blood pumping into my fingers. Before taking the blood sample, I just want to insert the test strip in like so. The device will turn on, knows what time it is, it knows it's looking for a blood sample. And then as soon as I take my sample, I'm just going to turn the device upside down and I'm going to hold it to my finger like that and the blood is going to naturally get drawn up. Ooh, I just hold it up to my finger and then fire. should draw blood, as you can see. It's important to never to take the first droplet because this can give inaccurate readings. So I'm gonna wipe that one away. 
going to keep squeezing. Got a nice blood sample there. Just going to hold my device upside down. And you see the blood net like automatically gets drawn up. And then the countdown starts. As soon as we reach one, it's going to say that my blood glucose levels are 4.8. Using this indicator, we can see that I'm well within the green healthy range. Make sure to wipe all the blood off your hands. See, it's such a small needle that I barely felt it. And now there's no blood. And we've got my blood sample. Take the test strip out and discard. Also, it's important to remember to take the lancet out of the lancing device. Just simply pull and it will release itself. Make sure you discard that in a sharp, safe place. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you understand how to better use our glucose meter. If you do have any questions, please just drop us a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.